It's a real cinematic experience. This is going to be cool. The story for Bloodstone is actually written by a veteran Bond writer. He's come up with this great story. It doesn't pick up on where the movies last ended. It takes the James Bond that Daniel Craig has created and puts him into a new adventure. Bond finds out a biomed researcher in London has been kidnapped. And this sets Bond into a mission that takes him all over Europe and all over Asia. And he never quite seems to know who is the villain and where is this taking me. It has twists, it has turns, it has really interesting characters. And more story elements keep on unfolding. There's more to them than you originally thought. You can shoot people, you can get into cover, you can drive vehicles, you can do hand-to-hand -hand combat. You can do everything in the same level, and that kind of makes it feel really versatile. Bond's greatest weapon is his mind, so it's not just about shooting people, but thinking about what you're doing in the environment. You have to plan how you're going to infiltrate each place. You have to think about whether you stealth or whether you go in all guns blazing. The multiplayer is a huge thing for us in this James Bond game. We play it in like an objective-based game, so it's actually like a mini standalone story. It's a team-based game, so it's really about cooperation between your teammates. There's 16 players, two teams of eight. One team plays as MI6, and one team plays as a mercenary. Mercenaries are trying to achieve something, and MI6 are trying to stop them. We've got everything you can wish for in a game. It's been a challenge to pull together, but I think we wouldn't be doing Bond justice if we didn't put in that amount of variety.